Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Dev's Kingdom. This is Jacob. In today's tutorial, we're going to introduce codename Goose, a very powerful and very cool machine AI agent. So it is created by Block Inc. This company created Square, Cash App, and Spiral, those very, very popular applications. And if you go to this uh, GitHub page, so it is a open source extensible AI agent that goes beyond code suggestions. Specifically, it works with any LLM. And the coolest part is that it actually built on top of MCP, the model context protocol, which is created by Anthropic. So if you go to this documentation page, it is well documented. It has how to install it, how to configure the LLMs, and also has using extensions, which are MCP. So we're going to go through that in very detail and I'm going to show you how to create a custom MCP so you can test it at your free time. So that being said, let's get started. So I will demo this on Kaggle. You do not have to use Kaggle, um, so, but Kaggle is very easy to use. So I will demo on Kaggle in this tutorial. So you can see we actually uh, spin up a Visual Studio web on Kaggle. So I have a tutorial for that. Uh, you feel free to check that out, but uh, I will not go through that in this video. Instead, we just go through the Goose and how to set up MCP, which is the Model Context Protocol with Goose. So that being said, let's continue with the Kaggle Notebook. So after you set up the uh, Visual Studio app, just open it up and download Goose. So first, to use codename Goose MCP, you have to provide a LLM. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a Llama. You can also use Grog, OpenAI, so on and so forth. If you go to this documentation, config LLM provider, you can see a lot of the provider are supported, um, but the easiest ones are Grog and Llama. So let's go back to Kaggle Notebook. So if you want to install Llama, just do a curl command. You don't have to use the exclamation mark. This is just for the Kaggle syntax. So just use curl and also just do it all on my serve. It should be able to spin up all llama like we're seeing right now. So if you see all llama list, you're going to see all llama exists, right? It also has a model which we're using is QN 2.5 14B for the demo. So let's go back to Kaggle notebook after you install all llama and pull the models. Then you can install the Goose project. So first, you have to install the CLI. So this is actually in this uh, documentation, install Goose. So go to this Goose CLI section, copy and paste this uh, command line, because this has configuration equals to false. So you don't want to use configuration for headless applications. So we're going to use this command line instead of the default one. So let's go back to Kaggle Notebook. Make sure the configuration is false. So we will not receive those uh, prompts while you install. And then you have to ins uh, also configure this Olama. And you have to ins export this Olama host, Goose provider, which is Olama, and a Goose model, which we downloaded is QN 2.5 14B. So that's all my configuration. Do the export first, or the installation will actually have some errors. But you can also configure that later. And do it first is better. Then we have to enable file editing. So we'll actually configure this later because the Goose is not ready yet. So once we installed Goose, you can actually copy and paste the section here. So this is for the provider, the model you're using, and also the extensions, which are MCP extensions. There are default MCP extensions uh, like developer. There are a customized one we're going to build in this video which is a called fetch. So we can call it any name, but we just use fetch. So this is actually wiki uh, custom MCP. And then we have to install Goose. So we'll come back to this section later, but first we have to install Goose. So then first clone this rebel we just showed, then cd to the rebel, then we'll have to install Rust. So all this stuff is not really documented, but I will show you in this video. 
So you can actually go through this step by step. You should be able to set it up. And after that, make sure you um, also run a uh, home cargo inf. So this is actually, um, you have to basically set up the environment variables for Rust. So just run this line. So uh, just copy and paste it and then hit enter. You should be able to set up the environment for Rust. Then you have to install the dependencies. This is also not documented, so make sure you also install that. And uh, this is actually in the GitHub repo, but it's not really documented in the uh, OSHA documentation. So let's go back to Kaggle Notebook. All these dependencies are installed. Then you have to install Goose. So just do a cargo run, bin Goose, and run. But before you do that, make sure you create an empty file. It's called instructions.md. It is not in the GitHub page. You can see here, it is not in here. Just created a empty file and just run this command. Uh, so this will actually build Goose. After that, then it is good to go. But as I mentioned earlier, uh, we're going to build a custom SMCP server. So we'll come back to this a little bit later. Uh, let's first go to this default MCP servers. Uh, supported by Goose. So if you go to Goose, go to the using extensions. Those are uh, model context protocol servers. And if you go through their documentation, those are all local machine based. But we're building this own uh, notebook. So it's a little bit different. Instead of doing the Goose configuration, we uh, directly add this file config.yaml. So which will uh, we're showing earlier, but we'll go through that file a little bit later in this video. So uh, that's what Goose config does. So you can see here, basically there are uh, a few default MCP servers, developer tools, computer controller, Google Drive, memory, and JetBrains. So those are default ones. We have added the developer in this video. Then all you have to do is to uh, set it. Also, uh, they also have a extensions fetch in here. For uh, example, is for GitHub, but this is not required, so this is optional. So this is just showing you you can edit this file. So that's what we did. And let's go back to Kaggle Notebook to show you the custom YAML configurations. So if you want to convert goods uh, for custom MCP. The best way or the easiest way to do it on Kaggle or on the server is to just create a config.yaml under root config goose or any uh, user you're under. So uh, make sure you have the goose provider. In this case, it will be Olama. Goose model will be 2.5.14b. Then you have the extensions here. So this is basically the definition. So you do not need to go through that interactive prompting process. So this is very clear, uh, just doing the schema definition. So just the extensions. We have developer as a built-in type, and then we enabled it. Then we do a wiki, which is the custom model context protocol server. We call it fetch. You can call it a different name, but we just call it fetch. The name is wiki. The CMD is MCP wiki. This is something we're going to show later. So this is something we built through this um, pip installation. And then after that, we don't need any arcs and we just enabled it. Environment, you don't need any uh, environment for this demo. And then we basically tap is standard IO. So this is another one, which is the GitHub uh, demo, also in the official documentation, but we will not use it. So we turn it off as enabled because of false. Then let's go back to the MCP server customization. So if you want to build a custom model context protocol, instead of using the default one that provided by Goose, first you have to do a init, a UV init MCP wiki or any project name you want. So we basically built a wiki a sample that actually they listed under these tutorials. So building custom extensions, which is the MCP extensions, you can go through this documentation so you will have an idea, but we'll just go through the steps to make it easy. So if you go back to Kaggle Notebook, first we do a UV init this project. Then we basically go to this project and they will remove this default hollow.py. So as you can see here, uh, we do not have a hollow.py. So we remove that. 
the default have a, a dump file here. So we just removed it, but we call it MCP wiki. So after that, uh, just create a directory, uh, source, MCP wiki, then you also create these three files, server, init, and main. So the explanation is basically, this is a server.py, this is the uh, MCP server code, the init file is the CLI entry point, and the main is basically running this SM Python module. So it will create a project like this. The structure will be like this. And also, uh, you probably don't need the known modules. Uh, so we may need to remove that. And then what you have to do is basically copy and paste all these Python files from the object documentation, which is from here. So they have everything ready. Just use this as a sample and test. So just go back to Kegel Notebook, copy these three files, four files, maybe. Let's go back to uh, the Visual Studio web. You can see, so we uh, have server main and init. Just copy it from the official documentation. You can create your own if you like, but we just use the official one. And the name is called read Wikipedia arc uh, article. So that's a tooling, right? So you can see the MCP tool. So, and we also need to update this PY project for dependency purpose. Make sure you update the Python to 3.10. The demo or this software documentation showed is uh, 13, so that's not correct for this uh, Kaggle notebook. So the Kaggle default is 3.10, so make sure you change that. Let's go back to Kaggle. And uh, then after you copy and paste all the files, make sure you do a pip install. So after every file is done, just do a pip install, so like this one. That should be it. So this will create the MCP wiki binary. So that means you can see which MCP wiki. So you can see this actually created the MCP wiki as a binary. You can directly use when you integrate with the Goose project. So um, let's go back to Kaggle. So after uh, you added this binary in the system when you did this pip install and then you're ready to use this custom MCP with Goose. So let's go back to the config YAML file. So if you go back to config YAML file, you can see that this CMD, this command we're using is the MCP wiki. That is the binary you created when you create this uh, custom MCP project. So let's go back to the studio web. So everything is ready, then you're starting to test. And then let's copy, not copy, but just look to make sure that the model exists. Olama list, you can see the Olama installed and has Q and 2.5 14B as we demo earlier. Then let's uh, build it fresh so you can create a Google, Google session. So that's what we're going to test. So Goose is based on the sessions. You can run a Goose session. So we actually created some samples earlier, you can see. But we demo this uh, just to verify everything. So you can do a Goose session. And you can see that Goose is starting as a provider Alama model is Q and 2.5.14b. That's what we did the test. Also, you can see the logs file in here. So the first question we tested is what tools do you have? The second question is basically to test the MCP we created, right? It is read Wikipedia article. So we can see everything uh, is actually working correctly. You can see this is actually got called and the URL is something we passed in. So let's test again, just to verify. So Google session, you can go to the Google session. So you can see this is actually provided alarm and the model is q and 14 b And also the first question we're testing is what tools do you have? So this is basically uh, going through what we did so that you can see in real time. So what tools do you have? You can see this uh, Olama is working, is running on GPU because Kigo has a default GPU. So it's actually uh, using the default GPU. Okay, so you can see that 
The answer is I have access to several tools across different extensions, developer extension tools, wiki extension tools, which is the custom one that we built, platform tools, right? So, which is very cool. The second question we're going to ask is read this wiki and tell me what are the last, last few things Homer worked on. So, let's paste the question, enter. So you can see that it's calling the custom MCP we created for Wikipedia, right? So you can see the Olama is also working. Okay, so the answer is based on the information provided in the Wikipedia summary. Here are some key points about Homer. He's a traditional regarded as the author of the thing, right? His birth, place, and life dates are uncertain. No reliable biographical information exists. Scholars debate whether Homer was one individual. So all these answers are great. And so this is how you actually use Goose with custom MCP. Also, uh, because we actually added developer as a default MCP, you can also test that to create files in the system. So, which is also awesome. So that being said, hopefully this is helpful. So in this video, we demoed how to use and how to install and how to use Goose and how to use the custom MCP with Goose. So that being said, thank you so much for watching the video and hope this is helpful. If you do like this video, Please subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, and see you in the next one.